This is my favorite eye makeup look to date. Not only does this look great on camera, in photos, but it also looks great in real life. And also look at this before and after. Look how lifted and awake my eyes look, especially on this one. Look how sad and sleepy my eyes are versus the after. It's such an easy look with just a few different steps and I think anyone can do this. And if you can't, I'm here to help. I'm gonna try to make it as easy as possible, but I believe that even beginners will be able to manage this. I'm going to start by priming the eyelids. Now this primer is like cement, but like cement, it's very temperamental. The hardest part is just trying to get a really even layer. So I use a brush, a sponge, my fingertips. It does take a little getting used to. So for our first eyeshadow, we want to pick an eyeshadow that's at least one shade lighter than your skin tone. So I'm using a very light shade because I'm very light skin toned, but you want to customize this to work for you. And you can use any brush that you feel comfortable using. Using, I'm using a medium fluffy brush to create a wash of color all over the lid. This is going to brighten and shape the eyes, but not only that, it's also going to set that primer in place, which is just going to create a really silky smooth layer so that any eyeshadows that go over the top are going to glide. I really want you to focus on the inner corner of the eye and underneath the brow because that's where we want the most brightness to be. The next eyeshadow is basically like the opposite of that. So it's one shade darker than the skin tone. Think of it like contouring and highlighting. I'm using the same brush and I'm going to hold it in the middle of the handle. Now what I like to do is look in a mirror and slightly tilt my head back and forth so I can kind of see where the light is hitting my eyes. Basically, I'm gonna tilt my head to see where I want the depth to be. This is anywhere above the lid. Basically, we want to deepen this area to recede, push back, any hoodedness that we might have in the eyes. But also if you don't have hoodedness, this also creates a framework for your eyelid. So you wanna take your brush and sweep this over and back in this area, keeping your eyes open. I want you to keep your eyes open so you can see the placement. If you're closing your eyes when you're applying your eyeshadow, you're going to be applying it in a very different way. And as we get a little bit older, our eyelids tend to move and shift when our eyes are closed versus open. So by keeping them open, you're going to make sure you are working on those areas. So far, so good, but we're going to move on to eyeliner. Now, I don't want you to worry. Yes, we are going to be applying eyeliner, but we're not going to be pressing it on the eye and creating that really solid line right across the lash line because that can be tricky for beginners in particular. Or if you're just feeling tired, and you have a chronic illness and maybe you just don't trust yourself to apply eyeliner. Instead, we're going to create a middleman by using a brush. What the brush is gonna do is going to absorb a little bit of the product. So we're not gonna be very inky and wet. This is just gonna give you a lot more control as you work along the lash line. So don't worry if you don't have the steadiest hands, it's totally fine. Basically what you're gonna be doing is pressing and lifting over and over again. You're gonna be looking down in your mirror and you're just going to be stamping this all along the lash line, keeping it as close to the lashes as you can. The great thing about this is not only does it give you control, but you can also use this to remove any of that eyeshadow that might've dropped on your lashes. Another plus for this is that this line does not have to be perfect. You wanna know why? Because we are gonna go over this with a dark eyeshadow. Any dark eyeshadow that you want, as long as it's about two shades darker than your skin tone. I'm gonna to be using a medium warm brown and we're using the same brush, the same placement, the same technique, that stamping motion, working along the lash line, working over the top of that black liner. And this is just going to create a lot more depth right at the lashes. And you wanna go a little bit higher as you go using whatever's left over on the brush. Now you might be like, okay, but like we're not doing a wing. So what do we do with this outer edge? Because it does look a little awkward. So what I would suggest doing is picking up a little bit of the two product and you're going to stamp this on the outer edge and then slowly bring this up on like the outer third of the lid, bring this up into the crease so it kind of disappears and blends into the crease. Next, we are going to apply some glitter and I love this brand of glitter. Yes, it is my friend's brand, so I'm a little bit biased. It is such a beautiful glitter. 
this camera doesn't even do it justice. Moving on to the next step, what you want to do is look for a very similar eyeshadow to the first one that you used, but instead of being matte, I want you to choose something that has a shimmer to it. So it should be the same shade, but a different finish. And we're just gonna focus this on the inner corner and only underneath the arch of the brow as well, just to catch the light ever so slightly. I'm just gonna go off camera real quick and clean up, apply some mascara and some falsies, and then we'll continue with shaping underneath the eye. So I'm back and I'm going to be applying a light pencil to the inner half of the lower waterline. Now because my eyes droop a little bit, what I like to do is actually darken the outer edge. What this does is actually lift it. I know it sounds strange because you're darkening something but it's lifting it, basically counteracting the droopiness. I'm also going to be applying this liner on the lower part of my eye right in the middle and then use my fingertips to blend it out. And then there you go. I hope that you find this really easy. If you didn't, definitely let me know what you struggled with because I really want to help people just be able to do eye makeup and make it work for them. Whatever you need, I am here to help. And if you made it this far in the video, I have something kind of fun to ask you. Do you want to see a baby pigeon? I love pigeons so much. Most of you will probably remember how much I love pigeons. And when I moved, it was really hard to say goodbye to all of my pigeons. But I'm so happy now I have baby pigeons. So let me know if you want to see them. And remember, as always, my friends, to be kind to yourself, be kind to pigeons, and I will see you in the next one.